Kenya as a challenge of income poverty where you have communities, particularly those living in arid and semi-arid region because they do not have many opportunities for income generating activities. So they end up having very low income or no incomes at all. Another challenge is um, with regard to regular shocks. For example, you have drought, floods, or sometimes an epidemic. Profit is a rural finance program supported by the International Fund for Agricultural Development, IFAD, which is a UN agency and the government of Kenya. Financial graduation is a subcomponent of technical services. The rationale for selecting financial graduation to a program which is essentially rural finance was to address a segment of the population that is deemed to be too poor that they can't interact in the financial and commodity markets. The graduation approach, pioneered by BRAC in Bangladesh in 2002, is the creative and innovative solution that accompanies the poorest households on their own pathway out of poverty. Through comprehensive and sequenced steps, the graduation approach supports families in their own journeys to build resilience and sustainable livelihoods. Results from this evidence-backed method are inspiring adoption in over 40 countries by NGOs and governments. Using technical expertise from BRAC and in cooperation with the government of Kenya, CARE and the BOMA project are implementing the PROFIT financial graduation program, which targets 2,600 women and youth. BOMA works with the extreme poor in the arid and semi-arid areas of northern Kenya. We empower women, build resilient communities and families, instill hope, and change the conversation about what's possible. Samburu County has some of the worst basic poverty indicators. I believe it's in the top 15 poorest counties in Kenya. CARE's mission is to eradicate poverty. And in Kenya, we target women and girls as our impact group and we look at poverty that is caused by gender inequality. The program that we're working on right now is in the um, Chuso sub-county of the larger Kitui County. The families in the Profit Financial Graduation Program receive six critical interventions. They include an income generating asset, a consumption stipend, links to the National Health Insurance Program, saving support through groups, training on social and health messages, and mentorship through household visits. This project has brought about a lot of changes for the participants in Samburu. The women that are participating in the project now have an income where they're, through the businesses that they've started with support from the project, so they have a regular income, they have access to uh, better food, so they're much more food secure. They have access to health through uh, their enrollment in the NHIF. And I think for me, the most compelling change that I've seen in the women is their agency, their empowerment. As members of the community, as women, they're much more in control of their own destinies. Most of the beneficiaries will tell you that they were voiceless. So as a result of being mentored in terms of household visits to emphasize what they have been learning, and in terms of uh, mentorship at their income generating activities, and mentorship at the VSLAs, they can articulate their issues better. And are you an adogamana member of the Amado the Anonima Guana Valano in an A? Imanambu Mizabo, the Anandu, my two and Amanda Kuboya Munu and Robert Scali. Now you are the guy who can barras go to Madacompoca. You and Garango to Nome, Miguel Udon to Ganega, you see Petalam Gathers in Nusudo, Niganta Isitara Pana, Mogore to Gero, you are Gathers on Toko Poki. Financial graduation has opened our eyes. We have seen it is possible to identify and work with people who could otherwise not be reached. People who are ultra poor and make them 
lead sustainable livelihoods. To that extent, financial graduation, using the lessons that we have learned, will expand in this country within the social protection programming space. Extremely poor people can often be invisible to their neighbors and to their governments, discriminated against and excluded from the most basic of services and opportunities. Graduation walks with families as they transform their own futures. We are all on a journey to achieve the Sustainable Development Goal 1, ending extreme poverty by 2030. And it demands that we travel together with governments, with donor agencies, NGOs, and the private sector, and that we accompany poor families so that we leave no one behind.